the logic behind the creation of X3 has to do with the fact that you are seven times stronger than you know you are. Uh, and that's based on biomechanics and variable resistance. So let me show you. Right here, you're seven times stronger than you are right here. And the curve is not linear in the middle. Therefore, we change the weight with X3 so that we hold a lighter weight back here where the joints are compromised and more likely to injure. And we hold a very powerful weight out here where you are capable of producing that force. This means that you get a much deeper level of fatigue and with that deeper level of fatigue comes a more aggressive rate of growth. People can put on 20 pounds of muscle in six months. We've seen that with many of the tens of thousands of users. The problem with lifting regular weights is we don't get that seven-fold stimulus the possibility of triggering more growth by handling force appropriate to the range of motion we're in. So for example, when you're lifting a regular weight, you pick the weight that you can handle back here in your weakest position. So when you're in your strongest position, you're hardly using any muscle at all. And that's when the most muscle is capable of firing. So you're really only training your weakest position, which doesn't mean it doesn't translate into strength in the stronger range of motion, but it does mean you're firing the least amount of tissue possible and taking the least amount of tissue to fatigue in that experience. Now, there are some companies that are kind of trying to draft off of our success by selling just bands by themselves. The problem is you have two choices. You have a very lightweight band, which is kind of like a rehab type of weight, 20 pounds or something like that. That's not going to stimulate any growth. It, this, this bar, when I, when I do a chest press with this bar, I'm over 500 pounds at peak, 540 actually. So when somebody trains with just bands, they're either going too light or if they try and use a heavier set of bands, this happens because the band wants to be a circle it doesn't have the bar to conform to a straight line, which we interface with straight and flat very well. There's also a ground plate that you stand on with X3 that creates a, a, a ground. So if you're doing a deadlift uh, or a squat, your ankles are not bending inward. Ask a football player if the ankle likes lateral force. It doesn't. So we cancel all that out with the bar and the plate so that Joints are straight, they're always comfortable, and you can produce the proper levels of force with X3 to trigger that aggressive level of growth. If you want to learn any more, please read the science page on the website.